Right, so I'm Mark from Minnesota. We're going to just do a quick setup of the USB to serial converter. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. It's a little USB to serial converter, and we use this to talk to um, the controllers, the wind controllers. So um, I'll sort of plug it in quickly, give me two secs, and jack it in the side. Really have a laptop. Right, um, so now to flip around to the screen. Okay, so okay, so now it's basically saying to me it's not set up yet. So first we've got to set up an area on a node. So we do this. Yeah, settings, area node settings. Give the area a name like my laptop. So I add it. Then you go over here to node settings and see it sees the, or sees your laptop. The controller name is the WWS series and it's connected on the COM port. And remember that COM7 that we looked at? There you have it. Can you say add node? Right, now it's ready to go. Um, now if you hit save, it's going to tell you to restart the app. Say OK. Please restart the program for the settings to work properly. The, the ingress isn't very good. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, get it started again. Right, so now we should start seeing voltage over there. Really cool. It's working nicely. Right, go to parameter settings. Login is admin. That's A-D-M-I-N. Oops, N. And the password is the same, A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase. You log in, says success. Now you're going to run that again. Parameter settings. Click connect. There's the laptop in the WWS series. And now you're able to change settings on that unit. Now, just now it was set at 27 volts. I changed it to 26 just to make sure it was working properly. So I'm going to change it back to 27. Sorry, num locks 27. Oops. Um, the LED display on the unit is in English. I have no idea what ODI is. That looks like a, it probably means Chinese. Um, anyway, so we're leaving the controller in English. Um, you would change the release voltage here um, on the turbine if you were connecting to lead acid or to lithium. So it depends on the, on the battery types you got. So on the on a lead acid battery system, float voltage would be about 27 volts. Put it on like that. So save parameter. There we go. Succeed in saving parameters. Okay. English isn't great, as I said. Right. You click OK. That's pretty much done. Now I just I close that again. You can actually close the whole program again and then re-log in. But it's the same thing. The quickest way is just to go back into parameter settings. Click back to connect. Just to double check. But the settings are still the same. I just do it as a matter of course. It saves you setting the whole thing up again. Um, but you know, if you did happen to close it, open it again. You first go here. Just wait for it to connect. There we go. You can see it sees the battery voltage. Click there. Uh, parameter settings. Um, log back in as admin. Admin. Admin again. Click login. Says succeed in switching user. Brilliant English. And then we go back in there again just to double check the settings. Say connect. And there you have it 27. Cool. Okay. Um, the voltage outputs here are for some of the controllers that have a voltage output for, say, a light fitting or a camera that needs power, that type of stuff. 